So most of the time when I'm on the trail, I like to bring either one of my homemade dehydrated meals or one of the Happy Yak freeze-dried meals. And both are very good and both have their pros and their cons as well. But there is another alternative that I wanted to bring to you. It has both convenience as well as great taste. And that is these meals that are based on Indian cuisine that you can find in a lot of the stores now. And I think this one, well, this one specifically, I know I picked up at the dollar store here in Halifax for $2. So this one specifically is the Bengal lentils. And what is nice about these is that they're designed to be heated right in the bag, in a microwave, without opening them up. Now, of course, you can open them, put them in a pot if you want, but they can be cooked right in the bag. And that's how I'm going to cook it today. I'm going to drop this down inside of my pot, in the bag, close, and let the hot water heat it up. Now, there's about 320 calories to a full bag of this, so they are designed to be two-portion bags when you add them with something like this, rice. So this is a small bag of rice that you can add to your meal to extend it a little bit further if that's what you want to do. This also can be dropped right down inside the water. For me, this is all I'm going to have today. I'm not going to be having the rice, just this small meal. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to set it in the water, which I have heating over a little stove here, and I'll show you how that works. So I have my little camel 1.2 liter pot sitting on top of my uh, Bushcraft Essentials Bush, books, Bush Box LF today. That's what I decided to bring out and test, or not test so much as use. Uh, I have water in there. There's quite a bit of water. Actually, a bit too much water for what I need. So I'm going to take it off. You can see it's already getting hot because if I drop this bag down inside with too much water, it's going to overflow the pot. It very nearly did as well. I think I will dump out a little bit of that water. And I could have put this in from cold rather than putting it in the hot water. It's just uh, I wanted to leave the lid on, let the water heat up that way. The bag is more or less floating in the water right now. Put that back on top. That is going to come to a boil in a couple minutes. I'll let it simmer here in the pot, maybe three four minutes. In a microwave it only takes one minute so it's not like it has to spend a lot of time in the water and uh, then I'll be it'll be ready to eat. Now one of the benefits as I mentioned here is that you can cook it right in the bag. You don't have to dump it into your pot and get your pot dirty so your pot remains clean. You can eat it right out of the bag so you don't have to have any other bowls or eating utensils while well, you have to have a spoon or something to eat it with of course. Afterwards, I can use the hot water to clean that little bit of a bag out, or if I had been using a bowl to clean the bowl out. I would not use the water here for drinking from, for making coffee from. I did that once and I had a number of my viewers point out to me that although the inside of the bag may be food safe, there's nothing saying that the outside of the bag is food safe. They could very well have inks or dyes on the outside of the package that could taint the water and cause it to be a little bit toxic. So better off just to refill the pot and put a new pot of water on when I go to make my coffee after this. I can see how quickly these little dead branches are dying down, so we're going to have to put a few more in to get bring that water back up to temperature. Feed in through the side here. So it does take a few minutes for that to heat up, but even now it's sitting in boiling hot water even though it's not rolling. So it won't take too long for that to heat up as I say, and there is enough room if I want to put in that other little bag of rice to extend the meal, but for me today this is a pretty good meal. So Bengal lentils, it has a nice flavor. I've had this before. And as I mentioned, this is relatively new to me. And I don't know how many viewers out there have eaten this type of meal before, but I find these in different places. I have found them in the dollar store where I bought this package. I've found another brand in Walmart and in the superstores, which have other, other uh, curry meals and other different ones. Uh, this Bengal lentils is quite a nice one. And uh, yeah, so this is what we're going to have today, and I'll bring you back when this is warm enough for me to eat. All right, I took the bag out of the pot of hot water, and I have to have hold on to with it with something, so it's just a little stuff sack that my pot came in. And uh, all I need to do now is tear off the top. Might as well take that right off, just so it's not in my way. Make sure I do take it out of the woods, of course. Open it up. Oh, that looks and smells good. Bengal lentils. Let me see. Mm. Mm. 
maybe a little bit salty, but uh, you know, let's see what it's got in here. Water, of course. Whole lentils, tomatoes, onions, sunflower oil, chickpeas, garlic, and salt, coriander, turmeric, and other spices. Very inexpensive meal. Very tasty. A little liquidy, but that's why if you had some rice, you could either put the rice directly in this or you put the rice in your bowl and put some of this on top. It is a vegetarian meal. So it does have protein, has seven grams of protein for half a bag, so 14 grams of protein. That's not bad. Vegetable protein. Actually, it's quite tasty. So I guess you could add a little bit of meat if you wanted to, one of those little packages of Spam or something. I wouldn't add jerky so much because the jerky wouldn't rehydrate in time, but something that's already prepared uh, that would be easy enough to add if you're looking to add a little protein to the meal. This is, to me, is more of a snack, uh, a 360-calorie snack, but of course I'm hiking, so I am burning those calories off. So what's the downside of a meal like this? Well, I guess the downside is the weight. So it's already prepared and ready to go. So there's no rehydration like there is with dehydrated or freeze-dried meals. It's just a matter of heat and eat. So while the downside is the weight of it, there's no can. So it, once it's rinsed out, you can pack this way inside of a plastic bag and you've got very little weight and bulk to carry out of the woods afterwards. And I think that inconvenience of that little bit of weight is outweighed by the convenience of making it so easy to eat. No cleanup required afterwards, unless you want to rinse the bag out, which is what I'm going to do. And you get a tasty meal. The other advantage is very inexpensive. Like I mentioned, I said two, but I actually meant three dollars. I paid for this at the dollar store. They run between three and five dollars at different stores, depending on what brand and, and uh, what flavor, I guess, they are as well. But, uh, yeah. So all I wanted to do was to bring you an option, something that wasn't a dehydrated meal, meal something that wasn't a freeze-dried meal, something that was easy to prepare and is tasty to eat. Very tasty, in fact. Okay, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more videos like this, you may consider subscribing to my channel. Hit the like button, but in the meantime, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.